in the vast expanse of television history where black and white frames intertwine with nostalgia. There exists a singular gem that rides on the winds of memory, a classic that sparked imaginations and embarked on a timeless journey. Imagine, for a moment, a flickering screen, the soft hum of anticipation, and then a wagon train emerges, forging its path through uncharted territories, not just on screen, but into the heart of every viewer. It was 1957, and the world witnessed the birth of the iconic TV series, Wagon Train. Ah, the thrill of that first encounter. Perhaps you were perched on the edge of a worn-out sofa, your eyes wide with wonder as you stepped into the shoes of pioneers and adventurers. The rattle of wheels, the creak of wooden planks, the camaraderie of a diverse cast, it all became an enchanting tapestry that painted the struggles and triumphs of those who dared to traverse the untamed West. Was it the rugged charm of Ward Bond as Major Seth Adams that captured your attention, or the enthralling tales spun around campfires that held you captive? And those memorable moments, they remain etched in the sands of time. A poignant conversation that echoed the sentiments of a generation, a daring rescue that quickened pulses, or a quiet reflection that left you pondering long after the credits rolled. Each episode was a window into a world where determination danced with destiny, where landscapes were both breathtaking and treacherous, mirroring the human spirit's unwavering resilience. But let's turn the pages of history a little further, shall we? Behind the scenes, did you know that Wagon Train was not only a beloved series, but also a pioneering force in shaping TV storytelling. Its anthology format paved the way for episodic narratives, giving birth to a trend that still thrives today. And as we delve deeper into the annals of random facts about the show, prepare to be amazed by the tapestry of connections it wove with other cultural touchstones. So, as we journey back in time to explore the many layers of Wagon Train, Let's revel in the nostalgia, let's marvel at the innovations, and let's remember how a simple TV series transformed into a captivating legend, forever imprinted in the fabric of entertainment history. And now, with excitement brimming anew, let's set our sights on unraveling those fascinating threads of trivia that make Wagon Train a show like no other. Buckle up, dear reader, for a ride through time, stories, and the uncharted terrain of television greatness. It's a journey worth taking, a tale worth reliving. The Wagon Train, unveiling the musical odyssey of an iconic TV western in the realm of classic television. Few shows have left an indelible mark quite like the 1957 TV series Wagon Train. As viewers embarked on the journey through the rugged trails of the American West, they were serenaded by a theme song that would become synonymous with the show's adventurous spirit. Little did they know, this theme had a remarkable origin. The show's signature theme, now etched in the annals of television history, was plucked directly from the Jero Mora score of the film The Jayhawkers. The melodic strains, evocative of frontier landscapes and daring pursuits, seamlessly weaved into the fabric of Wagon Train adding an auditory dimension to the visual narrative. Moros, the mastermind behind this resonant theme, lent his compositional prowess to the Western series for a span of five episodes from 1959 to 1960. This musical infusion didn't just become background noise, it transcended into an emblem of American TV Westerns. The soul-stirring notes of the wagon train theme, intermingling with the clattering of hooves and the rustling of wagons, transported audiences to a bygone era of exploration and grit. Its reverberations were so impactful that it remains one of the most recognizable theme songs in the pantheon of television. However, beneath this harmonious veneer, a transformation was underway during the show's early days. In the inaugural season, the evening campfire scenes resonated with the plaintive wail of a lone harmonica player, painting an intimate picture of camaraderie amidst the wilderness. Yet, as the series marched into its second season, a sonic shift transpired. A majestic orchestration of the main theme gave way to a melodious trail song adorned with lyrics, mirroring the evolving narrative dynamics. In this musical evolution lay the heart of Wagon Train. It echoed the transformation of a nation as it forged its path through uncharted territories, capturing the essence of human endeavor against all odds. 
Jero Moros theme and its harmonious metamorphosis encapsulated the soul of a show that continues to traverse generations. So, as the wheels of Wagon Train rolled on, its theme became a harmonious compass guiding viewers through the vicissitudes of the Old West. An auditory emblem of resilience and adventure, it stood as a testament to the enduring power of music to etch itself into the collective memory of a nation. Wagon Train's unscripted drama, a behind-the-scenes clash in the annals of classic television, the 1957 series Wagon Train holds a distinguished place, chronicling the arduous journey of pioneers across the American frontier. Yet, beyond the scripted narratives that graced the screen, a lesser-known tale of unscripted drama unfolded behind the scenes, involving none other than the acclaimed actors Martin Landau and Ward Bond. Landau, a New York-born actor, found himself in a surprising confrontation with Bond, the show's stalwart figurehead, during the filming of an action sequence. Bond, reportedly learning of Landau's Jewish heritage and origins, seized an opportunity during a fight scene. Rather than execute a staged punch, Bond chose to deliver an authentic blow, catching Landau off guard. This unanticipated exchange, a mix of genuine tension and perhaps a subtle power play, remains a vivid footnote in the series' history. Wagon Train itself drew inspiration from the 1950 film Wagon Master, in which Ward Bond portrayed a leader guiding families on their perilous wagon journey. While Bond did not reprise the same role in the series, his portrayal undoubtedly provided a thematic foundation for the show's exploration of camaraderie and trials on the frontier. The series' format underwent shifts as well. Seasons 1 through 6 and 8 embraced hour-long episodes in classic black and white. Season 7, however, marked a departure. Episodes stretched to 90 minutes and were presented in vibrant color, offering a novel viewing experience. Syndication patterns mirrored these shifts, with Season 7 episodes often finding standalone slots on weekends, while weekdays were reserved for the shorter, earlier episodes. More recently, the Stars Encore Westerns Channel and INSP have bucked the trend, seamlessly integrating Season 7 episodes into their regular schedules, uniting them with their monochromatic predecessors. This deliberate sequencing underscores the enduring allure of the wagon train's journey, regardless of the hues in which it's portrayed. In the grand tapestry of television history, Wagon Train stands as a symbol of the frontier spirit that captured the hearts of viewers. Beyond the scripted tales of pioneers, the unscripted clash between Landau and Bond echoes is a testament to the unexpected twists that can transpire both on and off the set. Sponsored by the Edsel division of the Ford Motor Company during its inaugural season in 1957, the TV series Wagon Train embarked on its journey as a Western drama that captivated audiences across the nation. The show's narrative prowess was matched only by its unique casting coincidence. Robert Horton, the original lead, entered the world on July 29, 1924, a fact paralleled by his successor, Robert Fuller, born precisely on July 29, 1933. This uncanny synchronicity added an intriguing layer to the series' legacy. Gene L. Kuhn, a prolific writer, etched his mark on Wagon Train with the creation of 23 episodes, crafting tales that resonated with viewers through captivating storytelling. As the wheels of the titular Wagon Train rolled on, Kuhn's narratives merged with the vast landscapes, bringing to life the spirit of exploration and camaraderie. While the show would later pave the way for iconic sci-fi series like Star Trek, it's worth noting that Gene Roddenberry initially envisioned his spacefaring opus as a wagon train to the stars. This connection between two seemingly disparate genres sheds light on the show's enduring influence on television storytelling, transcending the confines of its western origins. Wagon Train, fueled by the Edsel Division's backing, navigated uncharted territories of entertainment, showcasing both the American frontier and the boundless human spirit. The parallel birthdays of its lead actors, Horton and Fuller, served as a subtle reminder of the show's lasting impact, where destinies intertwine even beyond the screen. In retrospect, Wagon Train stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the coincidences that can shape our narratives. As its wagons rolled forward, they left an indelible mark on television history, reminding us that the journey itself is often as remarkable as the destination. 
unveiling untold struggles, Ward Bond's silent battle during the 1957 TV series Wagon Train and the annals of television history. The 1957 series Wagon Train stands as a pioneering Western drama, etching its narrative across American screens. Yet, behind the scenes of this iconic show, a lesser-known tale of conflict and concealed health struggles emerged, involving none other than the series star, Ward Bond. Amidst the rugged landscapes and stirring tales of frontier life, tensions simmered on set. Bond, a towering presence on screen, clashed with co-star Robert Horton, their animosity thickening with time. Whispers of discord swirled, as Horton alleged that Bond spread rumors questioning his sexuality, casting a cloud over their working relationship. Unbeknownst to many, this hostility hung heavy as Bond's health was quietly faltering. When the series embarked on its journey, Bond carried the weight of his own secret battle. Hindered by high blood pressure and advised to curtail his workload, the actor faced a formidable adversary within himself. Despite medical counsel, Bond's indulgence in heavy drinking persisted while he traversed the demanding production schedule. The dichotomy between the robust figure he portrayed and his concealed fragility unveils the intricate layers beneath the western facade. Amidst the turbulence, the show's first season introduced the enigmatic character of Charlie Wooster, a man adorned with an unexpected trove of medical knowledge. Major Adams' refrain, he may not look like much but he knows a lot about doctoring echoed across episodes, weaving a tantalizing narrative thread. However, in subsequent seasons, this medical subplot vanished into thin air, leaving Wooster's character bereft of his once prominent expertise. The unraveling of these narratives showcases the complexity beneath the scripted performances. The clashes, concealed health struggles, and evolving character arcs lend a profound layer of intrigue to Wagon Train, elevating it beyond its western genre confines. In the pages of television history, the saga of Wagon Train remains a mosaic of stories, both scripted and unscripted. Bond's conflict-laden camaraderie with Horton and his silent duel with his own health reflect the often muted undertones behind the screen's vivid portrayals. The wagons may have rolled across the frontier, but the untold battles within the cast and characters etched an equally indelible mark. As we bid adieu to the dusty trails and starry nights of the 1957 TV series, Wagon Train, it's as if we're folding away a cherished map of our own journey through time. The crackle of campfires and the echoing hoofbeats of that iconic Wagon Train have woven a tapestry of tales that now reside in the hallowed halls of our memories. As the final embers of nostalgia burn bright, I invite you to close your eyes for a moment and let your mind drift back to those days when black and white screens transported us to a world where every creaking wheel was a metaphor for the ceaseless march of human spirit. Perhaps it was a character's journey that mirrored your own, or maybe it was the camaraderie around the campfire that whispered to your heart. Now is the time to unlock those treasure troves of recollections and share your most cherished moments. Your thoughts are the missing chapters of this grand narrative, and your memories, the hidden gems that continue to glimmer even in the passage of time. From the pioneers who forged the trail to the stories that left an indelible mark on our hearts, Wagon Train's legacy lives on through us. So, don't hold back, relive those anecdotes, revive those emotions, and let the winds of nostalgia carry your words. Thank you for taking this journey through time and space, exploring the rugged terrains of history and human connection. Your time and interest have painted a vivid picture of why this series remains etched in our collective consciousness. Until our paths cross again, keep those fires of reminiscence burning bright.